Do you brush your teeth before you make your videos? I do. I know you guys can't smell my breath, but it's a personal thing. I just want to make sure it's nice and clean. <laughs> Peace YouTube. This is P31 Diva coming to you with a Sister Locks vlog. This video, by the title, of course, is going to be my thoughts on choosing a Sister Locks consultant. So by this point, you are sure that you want Sister Locks and you know what Sister Locks are and you know what Sister Locks are not. All right, so this is more about your consultant because to me, the consultant can really impact your sister locks experience. So I'm gonna kind of get into some of the things that, and I don't know if you heard that sound, but I'm sitting on a stool, so I normally don't. But anyway, I digress. Um, I don't want this video to be super long, but warning, this video may be super long, uh, but it's, I feel like it's important, so let's get to it. Um, I am going to be reading off of a list of <laughs> questions from my decision-making chart. My consultant still laughs that I had this chart that I came to her with that I wanted to know answers and questions to. Um, I had made most of them prior to even meeting her, but if you want to follow along with me, I'm going to leave the link to my blog in the description box below. And that is p31diva-blogs.blogspot.com. So going from the top and working my way down, I, after looking through all the pictures online and everything, I narrowed down my list of consultants, potential consultants to four people. And well, four people and or salons. So I'm gonna, and I, on my chart, I don't list anybody's names. And I don't list any prices because prices change and people's quality of work may change. And so I just didn't want to misrepresent anybody a year or two ago when I made this chart versus now. So that's why there are no names. So, and at the end of this video, I'll tell you who I go to. And I'll also put the information in the description box. So if you just want to read that now, do that too. All right. Um, first thing I wanted to know was, was the consultant located in a salon? And for me, I wanted that answer to be yes. Here's why. A salon tells me that you should tell me that you're more serious about your business and that this is your primary source of income. So I didn't want to catch anybody after they had been working all week at their traditional job. And then now they're just kind of doing sister locks on the side. I want your best effort. I want your, you know, I want you when you're full of energy beginning of the day. And I also thought it would make it easier because I have a, a fairly taxing schedule. And so I didn't want someone else to have a fairly taxing schedule. So I wanted, uh, to me, a salon would have salon hours. So that was important. I wanted somebody who's going to be a certified Sister Locks consultant. Now, let me tell you, let me explain something. And see, these are some things that ideally you should already know about before watching this video. But you have what are called Sister Locks certified consultants and then Sister Locks practitioners who are commonly referred to as trainees. Now, everybody has taken the four-day course. I don't, oh, disclaimer, I don't work for Sister Locks. No one's paying me to make this video. I'm just sharing with you my experience, and these are my thoughts. It's a fact that these are my thoughts, and I'm entitled to them. I'm going to express them respectfully, though. Sister Locks uh, practitioners or trainees are people who've taken the four-day class. They passed, but they've not sent in whatever evidence. Typically, it's pictures. I believe it's three sets of pictures of establishments that they've done to the headquarters and the headquarters has looked everything over and then added their name to the registry. I, my understanding is that there is a possibly a fee involved in staying on the registry. So you may come across a consultant who at one point was on the registry, but now is no longer on the registry for whatever reasons. You may come across a consultant who is still a trainee or sister locks practitioner. Um, and that just means she's still in the process or he is still in the process of getting everything they need to get together so that they can um, move to, to a certified status. Or they could have done that and now they're just waiting on the home office. For whatever reasons, I wanted somebody who was fully certified and actively listed on the registry. Because if there's supposedly, and I'm assuming that it would be unbiased, I don't know, but if there's any issue with your establishment, you can contact the Sister Locks headquarters and if the establishment was not necessarily done to the sister lock standard, then the, the headquarters, I've seen some instances, read on some blogs, watched some blogs where the consultant will have to redo the work or make some corrections at no charge to you. So I wanted that kind of safeguard buffer. 
I go to a consultant who is actually, who is also R certified, meaning that my consultant can teach me, of course I would have to pay, but teach me how to retie to my own hair if I so choose. My consultant, because I knew that um, my hair was probably going to have some slippage, case in point, these temple areas and these, this back area, um, I wanted somebody who was you know, really highly qualified. And so my consultant is actually somebody who teaches the four day classes. She's taught the four day classes before. So what else better person to go to in my opinion? All right. I wanted, and this sounds kind of like really lady, but I wanted the shampoo service to be included in my retightening. When I go for my retightenings, my consultant shampoos my hair and then they, re and then they retighten it. And that's what I wanted because I just, I, I want the whole experience. I'm there I want the whole experience. I don't want to have to shampoo. Now I do shampoo my hair in between, but I wanted to be able to go and to get pampered. So that was important. Um, quality of work with establishments, that should be a no brainer, but I wanted how, how one puts themselves out on whatever the social media is or on their website that represents to me their best work. And just by looking at their work, I wanted, I wanted to look at the pictures that make you go, Oh my gosh, that grid just looks Oh my gosh, you know, perfect. Um, I wanted that type of quality of work. And I felt, I felt like the pictures that you post should be your best. And if I didn't see that in quote unquote, what I felt would be your best, it made me take pause. Um, I wanted the person to wear sister locks because I didn't want a travel agent on this journey. I want a tour guide on this journey. I want someone who knows firsthand what it's like to braid and band your hair and do all the stuff and to have slippage or what have you. And so my consultant... Um, and I'll get into more. I actually have two consultants, but I talk about them like they're one person. So if it's, if I'm kind of talking like, I thought she said this, I thought she said that. One of my consultants, they both have, one still has sister locks. The other one had sister locks for several years. And then probably about six to eight months after my establishment, she cut her sister locks. And she's going to probably get them back, get them reestablished maybe in 2018. We'll see. I wanted someone who keeps an appointment book and also um, receipts. I, the where I go, there's an online booking system. All my appointments for 2017 have been booked since 2016. And I like that. I also wanted receipts. I get an email receipt. I get confirmation of my appointments. There's no me showing up and going, oh, I didn't have you scheduled down. I forgot to write you into the books. I got to squeeze you in now. No, my time is my time. So I like that. They also have, if you don't, if you don't, it's just like the doctor's office. I have to cancel with a 24 hour notice. So I, I'm fine with that because I like the rules, written policies, written down that we can refer back to. And I, that's, that's my personality. So that works for me. If you're somebody who is, you know, kind of late, you, you know, kind of forget things. Maybe you want to find a consultant who, you know, isn't maybe necessarily a stickler and is okay if you're 20, 30 minutes late. Um, I'm not okay if my consultant is 20, 30 minutes late and I wouldn't want to, so I just find somebody who that matches for you. And for me, I wanted somebody who has written policies and procedures, cancellation fees, the whole nine. Okay. Um, establishment fee out of the four people that I looked through, I ended up going, um, two were the same price, but the higher price. I didn't go with the person that was the lowest price. You get what you pay for. If you're going to somebody and they tell you they will put sister locks, establish sister locks for $200. You're going to get what you pay for. Um, there are a couple of things that could affect the establishment cost, where the where the consultant is. I would imagine that someone in a larger city, New York, L.A., Chicago, Atlanta, Miami, probably cost of living is just higher than a smaller city. So that's something. Um, how many consultants are in the area? If they're the only consultant for two, three, four hundred miles, if you look on the certified registry, you can see by state where all the consultants are. And there are sometimes only one or two or no consultants for that state. So people who are close by could possibly charge more because they're the only game in town. They have a monopoly, so to speak. But if you have a grouping of consultants, so then the pricing needs to be competitive because they can just go down the street or 10, 5, 10, 15 minutes away to another consultant if the work, the quality of the work is the same. So that can play a factor into it. And then how experienced the person is and whether or not they're at a salon. I would imagine that someone who's at a, at a home versus a salon or even a home salon, the pricing would, could possibly be different. All right. Retightening fee. Some people retighten by a flat fee. Where I go, it's a flat fee. So I pay X amount of money 
and that covers my retired thing so long as I'm within my retightening schedule and I go every five to six weeks one time I had to go seven weeks and that's just because of how my life worked out but some people they for some reason I don't know whatever happens finances travel you know family emergencies if they only go say every 12 to 14 weeks they're gonna have to pay like at my salon you will pay for every week past your 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 schedule so let's say everything past let's say seven weeks let's say if you wait for 12 weeks then you would pay a, a certain amount for every week past whatever your schedule is if that makes sense some consultants just charge per hour in 15 minute increments so they may say i charge 50 dollars an hour for retightening and so if, if it takes them two and a half hours to retighten your hair then it costs them a hundred it costs you 125 dollars some people kind of do a hybrid they have a set rate for the first say hour to two and then you know a lower number for each additional hour to half hour increment however they do it so keep in mind if somebody is possibly less experienced they may move slow because they want to make sure that they're doing a good job which i applaud thank you however i don't want to pay for the fact that you are slow or that you are slower you are doing a good job but you're slower so if they take five hours to retighten your hair because they're slower you know just keep that in mind so just make sure that you kind of looked at, at the numbers so keep that in mind um oh, okay possibility of a team establishment at first i was very against having two people establish my locks but my consultant explained to me how it works and here's why uh, my mother um, always told me that um, if two people put their your hands in, in their hands and your hair your hair's gonna fall out you know i'm like okay mom um, i love my mom <laughs> and for the people that, that know me in real life and know my mom you know my mom says stuff like that <laughs> Uh, my my husband's mother was a cosmetologist. I say was because she since passed. She explained to me that no two people do anything the same way. And so if two people do your hair, you have two slightly different hairstyles. And so those are my concerns. And I brought them up with my consultant. I'm like, okay, but help me understand. Well, how she explained to me is what they do is um, there's a lot of communication involved. One of them was responsible for all the parting. So the other person was simply putting my hair into the locking pattern. They switched throughout, all throughout my hair. So it's not like one person did one side, one person did the other, no one did the front, no one did the back. All throughout my hair, they switched sides. Another thing that they did was they communicated. I mean, literally, they would, you know, let's say they were right here. They'd be like, okay, how many rows do you have? You have seven, I have seven. You know, they made sure that things were equal. Okay, when they got to the back, they they counted out. They said, okay, I have eight, I have, I have eight. You have 12, I have 12. You know, how many, how many um, locks did they have going this way? They counted everything out. They went back and forth. They, they checked throughout the whole process. It made me very comfortable. Distance, that was something that was important to me. Um, I think there are about four or five consultants who are closer to me than where I go. But I go to where I go because that's where I want to go. Um, but a distance, is that something that you can commit to on a regular, on a regular basis? So keep that in mind. Do they offer styling services or other services? Um, I knew eventually I would want color. So I wanted to go to a salon to where I could get color. Um, you know, I might want to get some fancy style. Uh, if I ever wanted my locks cut, you know, all these kind of things. And so that was important to me. The salon I go to actually, they're working to make everybody a crossbreed, meaning that everybody is Sister Locks uh, certified consultant and a certified cosmetologist. So they're working to get everybody to be able to do both sides of the thing. It's a natural hair care salon. I've lost my space on the page. Okay. And um, email response time. That just an email response, phone response, however they have their communication. Are they responding to new and pr uh, prospective customers, clients? That's important to me. And then the number of other um, consultants at the salon, it's always good to have a backup plan. That um, If one of my consultants is actually pregnant, she's expecting a baby, um, people, one of my consultants um, is, finishing, is finishing up cosmetology school. So I have two people to choose from, but at the salon that I'm at, there, actually, there are four for sure certified consultants, and I think there are two sister locks practitioner slash trainees and then there's another person that's about to take the course so they're there in the next after after the next few weeks there'll be seven people there out of all those people only two 
do my hair, the two people that established my locks that, that have been with me from the beginning. Drum roll, please. Who do you go to, B? You never tell us who your consultant is. You just say your consultant. Um, if you go, tell them I sent you. I go to Rosalie's Natural Hair Care, where they specialize in the health and elegance of natural hair. Um, they take really good care of natural hair. They do color, they cut, kinky twists. They don't do micro braids. Um, not that I've seen. Uh, if you have traditional locks, they do palm rolls, they do men's locks, they do everything. Um, and I really like that salon. They're professional. It's, no, it's not messy. They keep appointments. If your appointment is at 8, you are in the chair at 8. The longest I've ever waited was like 15 minutes one time. Um, but just really classy group of people there really classic i can't say enough good things about that salon i don't know if i said it but of everyone that's there rosalie and pauline are the two people that that um that do my retightenings and they're the two people that establish my locks so thanks rosalie's natural hair care you guys are the best you guys thanks for hanging in with me with this kind of long video and um, i hope you have a day and or night as beautiful as you are take care bye